guys i should know better yesterday i noticed that one marigold here was gone literally gone and this one was fully blooming but look overnight the slugs and they're even eating the tomato leaves slugs are ferocious in this corner i need slug pellets unfortunately i do use slug pellets the organic safe um yeah look at this one i can find there i can't even i should have come out at night to hunt them but this is bad just overnight they would finish look the leaves of this tomato is gone just one night any lower leaves are gone so i need to get slug pellets now, this is a method that can help you with slugs putting wood boards on the bed overnight but i can't find any slugs on these underneath these ones i found a couple there this one yeah, we got one so we caught one there and yeah that's the one we've caught so that means this bed is not that little but the beds in the corner there that's where the tomatoes and the marigolds have been eating are covered in slugs i've just put slug pellets you know these are meant to be organic safe okay um however organic gardeners frown at it but <laughs> i want to eat my food so i try to hunt them naturally and yeah i try to hunt for them as naturally as possible but i just have to go around to make sure i don't have slugs over overgrowing <laughs> my food i need food not slugs guys i've come to look for those slugs those pesky slugs and look one is out already number one i actually found one already this is just on eight o'clock remember this is the damage they've caused here they've eaten this marigold the marigold was in flower it was big so let's look for more of them oh no just, just imagine they're eating tomato leaves that's just ridiculous only found two or oh, three that's a third one i need to find one of them as much i think more will come out at night but let's look for them if you can stay up late it's fine just find them and get rid of them they, they can be in the compost heap they can be anywhere else but not eating my food sorry but not sorry so guys i decided to do a night hunt can you see one that's one there Come on, come out. Two, three. Sorry, if this grosses you out, this is how you have to save your plants. Let's look for more. There's more everywhere. Four. It's just gone nine o'clock, and I thought, let me come out and see my garden. Let's look at them. Can you see? One. Can you see? Two in there. That's the marigold. They love the marigolds. Look. Look at another one. Two. It's going. If I left this today, tomorrow there will be no more marigolds. Just one night. Two thousand years later. Guys, I'm going out with a touch. It's past nine at night and it's ten days later. <laughs> Although the beds are singing at nine o'clock. Let me have a look after my slug pellet. Let's see what's happened, okay? So the light will be glaring. Let's see how much slugs we have left. Okay. Just so you know, the slug pellets are not 100% effective and that's why you still have to go out and hunt and look for this slug. So look at that plant, it's beginning to sort of come back to life. Um, the other one, I don't know if it will ever survive but that one's gone. But I haven't had more damage here, which is good and I can't see more slugs. I have been looking for most nights, I just go around like this. I did notice some fresh damage here and yes, I'm correct, look at that. They love the marigolds, like absolutely, they love the scent. So that is that one there. I'm just going to have a good look again around it. Yeah, the marigolds are good, sort of like a trap crop. However, however, that's another one. Join your colleague. However, the marigolds, we want them to leave. So we don't want the slugs eating them all up. That's another one there, can you see? join your colleagues so i didn't put pellets on this bed because there wasn't much damage here hence we have a little bit more slug population here than on the other beds uh, let's take this one this one there so unfortunately oh, i didn't get it where is it hiding this is what you have to do if you are growing organically you actually have to go around and hunt for the slugs. You have to look at that one, it's on the go already. More slugs and snails here. This area, snails actually dominate it, um, but it's okay. I don't mind some of it, but not on the plants. 
So this will be moved. There's more there. That one's there. The bed of strawberries was really hit badly by slugs and the uh, woodlouse. So I put a generous helping of diametaceous earth and some. Um, I also look at the pill bugs or the woodlouse and look at the slugs. Can you see? I put the diametaceous earth, more slugs there, and some chili and cinnamon but it hasn't gotten rid of all the slugs see yeah, the slugs are ferocious look at my tomatoes that we planted and they have been eaten tomatoes have been eaten by the slugs yeah these are the tomatoes that's what they're meant to be like <laughs> that's what they're meant to be like and this is what this row this row is by the wood chips obviously and we've got a lot of um, logs here so the slugs habitat so i'm gonna go lift and see as much as i can get rid of and yeah this is always the case when you have logs with slugs <laughs> look at them can you see just underneath one log look at that one they've fallen off and yeah this happens it was just used to edge this place but slug habitat hotel galore yeah but this is not mine someone's put pellets here copper tape log damaged completely decimated completely decimated with the copper tape so I, I don't even know if i should put my own <laughs> my own um kibritz like i've got my pumpkins out here because this is bad this is really bad Crikey. look at that just one out of three survived. 